Hi, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. So we've got a question from a fellow boater. Uh, Don just uh, watched uh, one of our uh, boat show presentations at the Seattle Boat Show. And Don has a question. Je he says, Jeff, just watch and enjoy your electrical seminar for the Seattle Boat Show. Thank you. Uh, you alerted me to my underpowered 40 amp Xantrax battery charger. I have three new 240. 40 amp hour deep cycle house batteries. So clearly I don't meet the 10% minimum charge requirement. Okay, preface, all right. This is where the meat of the question happens. At Anchor, I use a 2000 watt Honda generator to charge. So my question is, what is the largest battery charger that will run on a 15 amp service? Also, could you suggest a brand? Okay, all right, Honda generators. These little portable suitcase generators that we see at the dock, they're about the size of a carry-on, right? They uh, run off gasoline. Uh, the popular ones are about 2,000 uh, watts. So the first challenge is um, that those units actually, from what I've seen, and I mean, they might all different, like for example, the Honda 2000 peaks around 11 amps, 12 amps. At peak output, that's what it can actually give. Because you remember, You've got 2,000 watt peak, you divide that by 120, how many does 120 go into 2,000? You know, and you've got to factor some inefficiencies and everything else, so you're probably, you're not even running 15 amps off of those things. You think you are, but you're not. In my case, I had a Honda 2000 generator on my boat in about 2010, and I could get out, the most I could get out of the device was around 11, and it would sometimes trip the breaker. Maybe 10 is conservative. So if you're running 10 amps AC, right? How much does that give you DC? Well, basically you can do probably in terms of a charger, probably around a 50 amp charger is going to be running maybe a little bit more, maybe 60 amps. A 60 amp charger could probably run off of a 10 amp AC source feed. So you've got 2000 watt from that generator uh, and you can put about a 10 or 11 amp load. So about 60 amps is the max size charger that can be powered directly from that generator. Some boaters are running uh, the generators directly to the shore power cord inlet on their boat, and then they're pretending that they're connected to shore power and they're gonna be running that sort of little generator at the back of the boat, or some of them, I've seen them on a tender, some of them put them even on the dock. Um, now, I have to warn anybody who hasn't heard that generator, uh, there's a big difference between that generator running in a forest in an RV camp where everything around it is sort of a place where the noise is absorbed, nature can take noise. But on the water, as we know, our voice and sound travels tremendously. Uh, you can have a voice, at like barely audible conversation, and your neighbor in a fellow boat, you know, I'd say 500 feet, even 1,000 feet away can hear you because the sound just travels on water. So aside from the fact that they make a lot of noise and they are not quiet, if you're okay with that, and so are your neighbors, um, then the maximum amperage you can pretty much run off of that is around 10 or 11 amps and that's going to translate to about a 60 amp battery charger. If you have a battery charger that is higher output than 60 amps, like a 100 amp or 150 amp charger, then what you're going to have to do is throttle back the charger. And, um, you know, like a Magnum, a Xantrax, a Victron, allow you to throttle back the charger output so that you're actually not outputting so much. So even though the charger might be allowed let's say 150 or even 120 amps, you can say, hey, by the way, I don't want you to be max output, I want you to throttle it back. So you might have to do that when you're installing a generator to power your AC charger uh, to recharge your batteries. So great question, uh, by the way, Don. It's not easy, um, but it can work. Unfortunately, as you can tell, 60 amp charger is still less than your battery bank capacity of 720. So your Honda generator will chronically undercharge those batteries. And so you would need something else to charge those batteries, either a bigger generator or a larger alternator or something else. But yeah, it won't, for in your specific situation, it won't work. Great question. Thanks for asking. Thanks for watching this video. Glad to donate my time to make these videos and to share our passion for marine electrical. Help us keep this channel ad free by donating on PayPal, link below, or also potentially buying some of our merchandise on our store. We hear we've got a hoodie, we've got a hat, and we also have some tumblers and other gear. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.